In this short video, I'm going to show you three ways of using GPT Workspace to generate content for your website. First, when you've installed the add-on, you start it on Google Sheets. For our first use case, let's say we want to build a website selling small electrical appliances. We need to generate some content for each product. To start, we use a prompt to get the name of 20 small electrical appliances. Then, we copy and paste our second and more complex prompt, which is used to generate a lengthy description of our product with one, a paragraph summarizing the main benefits of using this product, integrating linked SEO keywords, and two, a list of possible uses for the product. We use GPT-4 and a temperature of seven. We extend our prompt. As you can see, in a few seconds, we have relevant content that we can immediately implement on our website. Great. Now, let's move on to our second use case. Here we have a spa hotel booking website in Spain. Instead of the product, we want to generate content for each of the autonomous communities. We implement the first prompt. Now we use our second prompt. Write a description of at least 150 words about this autonomous community for a spa hotel booking website. Try to use the word spa and massage if possible. Write only truthful and useful information. We extend our prompt. Perfect. Now we're going to tackle a slightly different use case. Instead of generic content, we want to use some URLs we found on Amazon.com to get titles that can be used for the product that is sold. We only have one prompt. Write one best title to use on Marketplace. The standard form is, start with brand name if any defining qualities, plus item name, plus pack, count if applicable, and the title with three to four good words, must not be greater than 150 alphabets, and print the final title. And that's it for today. If this video has helped you, you can leave a like, and if you have a specific use case in mind, don't hesitate to write it in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed the show.